hello everyone let's start with question number seven so in this case we are given with uh, we need to basically find the dimensions again but in this case we need to take force length and time to be the fundamental quantities so in this case the first one is density so density we know is mass over volume so the first one is density and density we know is mass over volume now mass can be written as force over area so we know force is f and a is acceleration is l over t square so therefore we get f l and l raised to power minus 1 and t square so this is my quantity for the mass now volume can be written as l cube so volume and we will be putting the value of mass and volume so mass will be f l raised to power minus 1 and t square now volume is l cube so this will be get converted into f l raised to power this will be 3 at the numerator so minus 3 will be at the numerator so minus 1 minus 3 will be minus 4 so minus 4 then we have t square so this is my unit for density now the second one is pressure so we need to find for the pressure in this case so let's see how to do this pressure we know is force over area now force can be written as F where area can be written as L square so it will be F L raised to power minus 2 so that's all for pressure now the next one momentum momentum we know is mass into velocity so momentum equals m into v and m we know can be written as m only and we have ve velocity so velocity is s over t so in this case we have l over t but we need to remember that we need to take force length and time to be the fundal quant quantity so if we have written already the m for mass so that is f l raised to power minus 1 and t square so putting the value of m here that is f l raised to power minus 1 and we have t as t square now l and l gets cancelled out because we have one in negative and one is positive and 1t and 1t will get cancelled out so we are left with ft so the dimension of momentum is ft then we have energy now we need to see what will be for energy so let's start with the fourth part which is energy energy we know is half mv square right so half mv square now in this we have two quantities half is constant we ne don't need to take this into account so we have mass so mass can be written as again f l raised to power minus 1 then t square and again we have for v that is l over t but in this case we have square so you need to square the value so now the final answer will be l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power 2 then we have l square then we have t square so t square and t square gets cancelled out we are left with f and we are left with 1 l minus 1 and another is l raised to power 2 so in this case it will be 2 minus 1 so it will be 1 only so the value for energy is f l raised to power 1 so that's all for question number 7 thank you for watching this